Welcome YMCA members and guests. My name is Mr. Cliff and I'm your virtual instructor for today's lesson. Thank you for choosing the YMCA of San Francisco for your place of community and learning. We're so glad you're here. Today we will be learning about how a small amount of water boiled inside a soft drink can can cause it to implode instantaneously when submerged into cold water due to air pressure. We're so accustomed to the air pressure around us that we barely even notice its presence. However, the air pressure is large enough to crush a soda can. How about we try it together and let's see if we can get a better understanding. Materials you will need for this experiment are one bowl of ice water, one can, a pair of tongs, one measuring cup, one tablespoon, one oven mitt in order to safely grab the tongs and safely carry the heated can and dump it into the bowl of ice cold water and one electric or gas stove top. Before we begin, I would like to advise a few safety precautions and measures. One, I advise the use of protective eyewear. If you have any goggles or safety protective eyewear at home, I do advise the use of them. If you do not, that is okay. Two, I advise that the guardian manages the use of the can being heated over the stove top or if you're using a gas burner that the parent is the one using the glove, gloved hand and tongs to carry and pick up the can and hold it over the flame for no more than three minutes. Three, I advise that you turn off all unattended heat sources that you are using to or that you have used to heat up the can. Four, I advise that it is safe to touch the can only after it has imploded and you've seen the implosion under the cold water. Four, I advise that you do not touch the tongs at any time until after the can has been submerged, the can has imploded, and the tongs have been sitting for at least two to three minutes. Those are all of the safety precautions and measures that we have. Now let's please get right into the experiment. Step one is to fill the empty bowl with refrigerated or ice cold water. Fill the bowl to at least halfway. Then if you have any ice handy or nearby, please fill the bowl with ice. The colder the water, the colder the temperature of the water, the better the implosion. Step two is to now take your can, take your measuring cup, and take your tablespoon. And you now want to input four tablespoons of water into your can. Four. You then want to pour the water into the can. Try your best not to get any of the water on the outside of the can or the outer rim of the can. You are going to now grab your tongs and grab your oven mitt and you are now going to heat and boil the water within the can for no more than three minutes as the water should boil fairly fast if you are using a gas stove, use tongs to hold the soft drink can over the flame of gas burner until the water boils. You'll hear the water bubbling. Keep boiling the water for approximately 15 seconds. Hold the tongs with your wrist facing up as shown so you can invert the can in the smooth motion when you dump. So once again, Holding the can with your wrist facing up. That way, when you dump the can into the water, you can easily turn it and still have control. So now, you are going to take your can, your tongs, and you are going to walk over to your flame. You are going to turn the gas stove burner on low heat. You are going to now Using your wrist facing up, hold the can over the heat. We are going to hold and let this can burn 
until we see vapor rising out of the top of the can or until we hear the bubbling of the water inside the can. As you can hear, the water is now boiling. We are now going to take it and implode. Remember to face, dump, and implode. Guardians, remember to turn off any open flames or any hot substances or devices that you are using after you have imploded the can. Now, what did you do and how do you feel? The first question we should ask ourselves is how did the can collapse? How did it go from a full can to a now collapse imploded can? What was the driving forces that made it implode? What reaction happened on the inside to make the can implode on itself? Do you think the same effect would happen on a one gallon can or a can a little more stronger and durable than aluminum? How did the different temperatures play a role in causing the can to implode? When you heated the can, you caused the water in it to boil. The vapor from the boiling water pushed the air out of the can. When the can was filled with water vapor, you cooled it suddenly by inverting it into the water. Cooling the can caused the vapor in the can to condense, creating a vacuum. The extremely low pressure of the partial vacuum inside the can made it possible for the pressure of the air outside the can to crush it. When you heated the can, you caused the water in it to boil. The vapor from the boiling water pushed air out of the can. When the can was filled with water vapor, you cooled it suddenly by inverting it in water. Cooling the can caused the vapor in the can to condense, creating a vacuum. The extremely low pressure of the partial vacuum inside the can made it possible for the pressure of the air outside the can to crush it. Thank you for participating in virtual lessons with YMCA of San Francisco. If you end up trying this activity out, we'd love to see it on our social media. Just post a photo on your Instagram using the hashtag at home with YSF. We're also offering lots of fun lessons you can follow on this YouTube channel. Make sure to check them out. Thank you for being a part of our YMCA community. We Look forward to seeing you again.